Hello everyone, my name is Jam. Uh, today I would like to share with you uh, about how to save yourself when you have a medical emergency. Uh, I'm not a doctor and this is not a legal medical advice. Um, I have learned this from a master and decided to apply it to myself and it works. So I just want to share with you and uh, I hope you learn something from uh, this video. Uh, so I'm 44 years old and I have a healthy lifestyle and no family history of heart problems. Uh, the symptoms uh, the symptom I have is the chest pain on the left side is right here. Okay. Uh, now when you feel that Many of you will uh, sit down and do deep breathing and uh, stretching, and so I did. And after a few hours, um, it's getting worse. Um, the pain getting stronger when taking normal breaths. Then I feel stiff and numb on the left side of the body, uh, left shoulder, left arm and stiff at the neck, jaw, and numbness on fingers, left fingers, face, and tongue. These symptoms happen simultaneously in a few seconds. So this is what I do. First of all, stay calm uh, and collect few lenses. This is what I bought from uh, Walmart. I have different kinds, it's lens sets. Uh, some alcohol swaps. Uh, some gauzes. If you don't have the gauze, you can use the tissue, that's fine. Now you clean the ears, you open it up and you clean, let me open it. You clean the ear right here. Okay, right there. You clean it with alcohol and open up and poke yourself twice. Poke yourself right there. Okay, one, two. And then you squeeze out, you squeeze out one drop of blood. Squeeze out one drop and then you tap clean it. Okay, and you squeeze one more time another one two two drops and squeeze one more time there's another one coming out and then you wipe it away okay do the same thing with this one okay um now if you have a family member stand by they can help you to do the next step um why you massaging your ears Otherwise, you're gonna do the next step by yourself. Um, so, next step gonna be clean your five finger with alcohol, okay? And then you poke yourself right there, okay? Poke right there, and then squeeze, squeeze out the blood, one drop, wipe it. And then squeeze another one, wipe it, okay? Two drops per finger. And do the same thing with this. You poke, and then you squeeze. You clean it up, and then you squeeze one more time. Okay? And then wipe it, all right? Now when you're done, you do the same thing with this finger, okay? You clean with alcohol, everything, and then you poke and you squeeze and then wipe it okay now when you're done with your finger you're gonna start to do it on your toes okay do the same thing you clean with alcohol all your toes and poke yourself right here okay and you squeeze out blood wipe it and then squeeze out a second drop Wipe it, okay? Do it all your toe. 
you poke it right here. Okay? Two drops per toe. Alright? Uh, okay. And when you're done, wash your hands, make sure your hands are clean. And then you start pulling on your ear, both ear. You're pulling really hard and you do the deep massage, okay? You pull it out like this, you pull in different direction. Uh, you do a deep massage on your ear and this is for uh, stimulate the circulation, okay? You do that for 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, while you're doing that, you, do a, uh, you take a deep breath in and out, keep doing that, deep breathing and do the massage on your ear for 15 to 20 minutes, okay? And at this point, uh, the chest pain go away. Uh, well, in my situation, it just go away like magic. I didn't take any medication. So when the chest pain go away and you feel better, uh, ask a family member to prepare a steam bath for you. Uh, basically, you put a lemongrass, uh, ginger, uh, lemon leaves, uh, one gallon of water, and boil it and uh, put the pot in the bathroom uh, that's what i did uh, cover it up with the leaves and then you sit in front of it uh, take up your shirt and your your pants and just sit in front of it um, and then you cover yourself with a, a, a big blanket cover yourself up you know over your head you sit in front of the the, the pots and then open the lid slowly okay the hot steam will coming out and be careful if you have a sensitive skin uh, you may get burned so just be careful and uh, you just stay there for like um, 45 minutes open the lid slowly so you can breathe in all the steam okay get your body get uh, get the body uh, get the steam up and it's, it's help with the um, uh, to open the pore and help with your you know your breathing you just breathe in all the steam okay so after 45 minutes, uh, wipe yourself with dry towels, okay? And you feel, you feel, you know, very good right now. Uh, when you feel better, you can go to emergency room to check yourself out. Uh, now the question is, why don't I call 911 when the symptoms get worse? The answer is, I don't have 5 or 10 minutes waiting for the ambulance. The symptoms get worse every second and I have to help myself before I pass out. Uh, let's go back to my situation as an example. After I did the steam bath and then you know 10 hours later and I feel better, I went to emergency room to check out. So they did the vital sign, EKG, chest x-ray, blood test, everything are normal. The troponin was 27. Uh, the normal range is 0 to 14, and mine is 27. But the doctor said, you know, it's normal, it's not a heart attack, um, and I must follow with my uh, regular doctor. So um, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like it, please share it. Um, thank you. I hope somebody in the world will have, you know, get into the same situation like mine and, you know, they can learn something from it and apply to, you know, their situation and it's helped them too. So this is the purpose uh, that I do the video. So thank you for sharing. Bye-bye.